Welcome back, everybody. Today, we are going to be talking about how to create your own dividend income with Apple Numbers. And I'm going to make this one just for Apple Numbers, and then I'm going to make a separate one for Google Spreadsheets. So if you have a Mac, this is perfect for you. So go ahead and let's watch this one. Smash the like button because I'm going to guarantee you that this is going to be useful information, and it's going to help you out a lot over the long term. And this is the free way about doing things. So. Welcome back. This is the screen for Apple Numbers. You just want to create a blank spreadsheet. At the top, you want to put company name, ticker symbol, shares, average cost, market price, cost basis, market value, gain slash loss, growth, annual dividend, dividend yield, and lastly, annual income. So as you can see right here, company name, uh, there are these red, like cautious signs, but once we plug everything in, I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. So ticker symbol. So today's example we're going to be doing is AT&T. So ticker symbol, you would have to look it up on dividend.com or go onto your Robinhood app just to see the ticker symbol. The ticker symbol for AT&T equals T. And then you hit enter. And then as you can see, everything populates for the most part. AT&T comes up with the company name. Uh, I have 20 shares. And then you want to go into your brokerage app, whatever you use. I use uh, Robinhood, so I'm going to go into Robinhood and then look up the average cost. So AT&T for me, the average cost would be $38.46. $38.46 equals that, and it's going to populate some more. So market price, cost basis. Cost basis just means that this is how much money I put into AT&T to get this return. Uh, it tells you the market value of what is currently at, the gain or loss, growth, and percentage-wise. Uh, annual dividend. So you would have to go to dividend.com, and the annual dividend for AT&T equals $2.08. So everything is populated. You have to plug in two things over here actually three things over here and then the annual dividend as you can see my investment produces $41.60 a year passively uh, just for investing $769 into AT&T and also I have a gain of $15.60 so far so the growth has been 2% um, now I'm going to click on each and every single box so that you know how to plug in these numbers so that it automatically populates so right here for the company name, you would do equals stock and then ticker symbol. And then you want to put a comma and then type name. So that's the formula for getting the company name. So the ticker symbol, you would have to click right here. And then you put the ticker symbol in and then that populates that. So then the shares, obviously it's on its own. Just plug in how many shares you have and also the average cost. Now the market price, as you can see, something's being highlighted so equals stock equals ticker symbol at&t so the company name and then comma price now this will tell you the updated price on the market of at&t per share so this 39 dollars and 24 cents represents what one share costs to this at this moment in time cost basis would be as you can see the average cost right here 38 dollars and 46 cents multiplied by shares of AT&T. So you do 38.46 times 20, because I have 20 shares, and we would get $769.29. Then the market value would be the market price times the number of shares, and that's exactly how much my shares are worth in this current market. The gain or loss is very, very simple as well. You would just do the market value right here minus the cost basis, which would be right here. And then that gives me a good gain of $15.60. The growth simply relatively easily. Click on that. You would do equals the gain or loss divided by the cost basis, which would be $769. And it shows us a 2% growth. So the annual dividend, like I said, it's on its own. You would have to go into dividend.com. Go into dividend.com because they show you the accurate number, and this is the most updated price. So $2.08. Uh, once you plug that in, 
it gives you the dividend yield. The dividend yield is the annual dividend divided by the market price. As you can see right here, it's $39.24. And the dividend yield does fluctuate, so it's not going to say the same, I would say, every single day. It does change here and there, so just be cautious of that. And then the annual income is the annual dividend right here, $2.08, multiplied by the shares. And I'll show you how it looks. See, annual dividend times shares of AT&T. Now, that is it. It is really that simple just to plug into uh, Apple Numbers. Uh, you can see the formula right here at the bottom as well. Uh, let's just go over from the top ticker. So let's just do that. See, stock equals stock, ticker symbol, and then name, shares 20, average cost, market price. It shows you right there. And then here are the formulas for cost basis down below. Uh, this is the market value formula, gain or loss formula, growth formula. Uh, there's no formula for the eight, uh, annual dividend. The dividend yield formula is that. And the annual income equals that. That is the formula for that. So it's super simple. Uh, I mean, once you do one of them, all you have to do is just click right here, the yellow bead, this yellow bead right here, and then drag it down. That takes the whole formula and pulls it all the way down. So when you do add in a ticker, let's just say for Ford, which is F, it just pops up forward and it shows you the market price and then you just have to populate the numbers i'll just do uh i have 52 shares uh let's just say it's at i have average cost of eight dollars and i think it's 68 cents everything populates and then the annual dividend i know off the top of my head equals 60 cents so then that brings me in 31 dollars and 20 cents it's that easy guys so once you have this uh first Thing populated and you have everything you know you could change the color on this but once you have the first thing populated all you have to do is take this bead right here and then drag it down and then a formula follows for the rest of those uh, rows uh, right here as well all the places where you see the red cautious sign this is where the formula is added into the equation so like I said guys it's super simple uh, if you guys did like it please smash the like button and um yeah tell me what you think uh and when you do actually plug in your your portfolio into this and you know you check the dividends to see how much your annual income is uh send me a message or a comment down below if you have any questions or anything like that so that i can help you out um i will be coming out with google finance uh dividend tracker this is the google sheets one uh and this is, has nothing to do with what program is on your computer. You just go onto googlesheets.com and then you could create one right away. And it's super simple. It is literally mirroring this. This just looks different than the Google Sheets. But yeah, guys, like I said, smash the like button and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching this. Uh, comment down below if you have any questions. Thank you.